All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kerbal Comets mod, which is being made by forum user Angel125. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, like it says in the name, Comets. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And frankly, something I'm actually surprised isn't already in the game. I mean, we have asteroids, so it just seems like such a simple lateral move to also add in comets but apparently squad never thought about that but thankfully angel 125 did and now we can go and explore these giant balls of ice which are flying through our solar system and that is just awesome now how it actually works before we go and take a look at these things in the tracking station is actually pretty ingenious because as i said we already have asteroids in the game and basically what this will do is anytime a new asteroid is going to appear into the world there's a chance a percentage chance for it to be either an asteroid or a comet and that's how these actually get created so it's using the already existing asteroid system and just you know retrofitting it a bit to add these balls of ice now what's really cool about that percentage chance of becoming a comet is that we can control that if we actually go to our settings here and go to difficulty options down we'll have this button here Kerbal Comets, where we just got three simple options. Auto track comets when discovered, very nice. Send a press release when a new one is discovered, also very convenient. And finally, that discovery chance, which by default, the game starts it to three. Now, <laughs> in a moment when we go to the tracking station, you're gonna see a lot of comets because I turned it all the way up to 100 just to make sure that I had enough to show off for this video and then turned it back down to the 3%, which actually I find that 2% is probably a little bit more to at least my liking as I like mostly asteroids and then just a handful of comets here and there uh, but you can set this percentage chance to whatever your heart desires and that is a pretty cool thing so let's just close out of these and head into the tracking station where oh boy I got a lot of comets now comets are pretty easy to identify as if you're just looking at the orbits of things out here in the solar system, you're going to notice that the comets have a much more highly eccentric orbit with a lot longer orbital periods than the asteroids would. And well, at a glance at your tracked objects for anything you do have tracked, you'll notice that we have a prefix here of KMT. Now when there's asteroids, those have the prefix of AST, so it's nice to have that little bit there as well so we have both the visual of the orbits as you can see all these right here as well as that lovely prefix which is actually is quite interesting all of the comets that did come in all having very similar orbits just at different very different orbital planes very fun though and there are many many beautiful chunks of ice to go and explore and yeah i mean that's that's what you'll get you'll see these things popping up just like you normally would any asteroid and you go and track them and you'll be happy now of course we do have a load of normal asteroids down here since we do have the uh comets being auto tracked but asteroids sadly don't have that same option so you will have to go find those manually but again like i said in the settings that can be toggled on or off now let's actually go and take a look at one of these comets up close and personal i put this kerbal comets craft right up and close to uh py1d01 fredway right there so let us go and fly this craft hopefully it's actually Still there. Yes, perfect. Oh, thank crap. It hasn't exploded. You know, it's Kerbal Space Program. Sometimes the Kraken doesn't like you. And here is a beautiful, beautiful comet. Now, since we did just jump in, it's having to redo its particle trail effect. But I, I, really, I really do love that. It essentially is just a normal asteroid floating through space. But with some slightly different texturing, I believe it doesn't quite look the same as an asteroid, at least in my mind, I could be entirely wrong on that. But more importantly, we have this beautiful particle effect, which may not seem like much, but when you're coming in close for a rendezvous on this thing, 
it's actually pretty impressive when you suddenly start seeing that trail when you're way back out here and you see it in the distance and you think to yourself, oh my god, we're getting so close, perfect, and you just get closer and closer until you actually find it, and that is... A pretty exciting flight, to be honest. It's actually one of the best times I've had in some time now with actually rendezvousing with a solid object. T typically, I don't bother with asteroids because I don't really care much for them, but going after one of these comets is pretty fun, and purely, honestly, because of the aesthetic of that cool trail. Now, it is also a useful object in our system. If you do have the community resource pack installed, you can actually use use these as a mineable resource and if you do have community resource pack in it will be water so that is what you will get from a comet of course is water and it'll be to varying degrees of density so you can also use these as a resource and very convenient to have these full of water if you are using some form of uh, life support mods it does make it quite nice that you can find ice water out there somewhere in the universe yeah, fairly quickly as long as you can get a rendezvous in uh, but yeah that's um that's Kerbal Comets. That a whole lot to show off with this thing. You get the very cool different asteroid size objects with a cool particle trail. If you have community resource pack, it comes with fun resources in the shape of water. And you can change how often you see these things. <laughs> and yeah, like I, like I said, if you want a lot of asteroids, just pump that number right up to 100 and it'll be great. You'll have loads of them in no time. And then just, you know, bring it back down, throttle it back when you're you know, want more asteroids for whatever reason. But yeah, that is basically it for this episode. If you would like to go and uh, download this for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, and I definitely say would say that you need to go and give it a try. As it's, honestly, even though it's so simple just adding in a comet, it's, it's very fun and a beautiful addition to Kerbal Space Program that, again, frankly, I would think should be just included in the base vanilla game. So go check it out. Have fun. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. And, of course, you do come back for the next episode when we will be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always... Have a good one.